Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we have a couple of vintage Lancel semi-automatic butane lighters. That will tell you right off the bat that this video is going to be filed away in the other useful mechanisms category as I do not repair or generally work on butane lighters. These two lighters however have plenty of appeal even if they're not currently working so I'm going to go ahead and sell them I think probably in an eBay auction here in the next few days so I just wanted to give a condition report video basically but it will also give us a chance to look these two lighters over and see just what kind of quality even once they moved over into the butane realm that Lancel was putting out as far as tobacco or tobacconous related product. The semi-automatic sparking mechanism actuates and works just fine on this red reptile or some other sort of animal leather covered model. It is short but works just fine as far as the sparking goes. I did try to pump gas into it when I first got it and I believe it was leaking on both ends. Um, it is possible that it was holding on the back end um, but leaking up top here. I can't really remember. I don't know if that really makes a difference. If a prospective eBay buyer is watching, then just request there on eBay. Send me a message and I'll be glad to pump some gas into it just to see if it holds on either end. If I can tell. As I said, I'm no expert on butane lighters. Sometimes I can tell you something, sometimes I can't. Um, you know, I'm just ignorant to a lot of it because I haven't really messed with them. This is a really cool lighter though and that leather is in really good condition. The fill screw is knurled and machined pretty cleanly. It doesn't have any markings. It is just flatly machined. There is a, an O-ring that goes over the or along the outside of the threads. Your flint spring and flint spring screw are underneath this wrench that is integrated into the bottom of the lighter and that is also a screwdriver for your flint spring screw. Then we can raise the snuffer to show you how this wrench fits this butane valve or burner. I don't know what the proper term is. But you can see there that that wrench fits that. The other lighter is missing its wrench, but it has the place for it to slide in there. Anyway, I know nothing about dating these particular lighters. If the, all the butane land cells had that, um, I'm really kind of ignorant. These were the only land cells that I ever owned. These two, and then a couple of uh, one an engine turned and then a leather clad petrol both of those were short sold both of those oh a year or so ago that o-ring makes it a little bit difficult to get it fitted down in there to get the thread started along with my damaged hands which I've talked about many times it took me a minute to get that in there, but you can see a very handsome lighter, and man, I really like that leather, that red uh, snake skin or whatever it was a lot. Now this lighter is also very nice, not in quite as good a condition aesthetically as the other one. You can see how tall it is. You can see that the leather has shrunk back a little bit, it looks like, on the top and bottom. See there where the flint spring screw was exposed where it's missing the wrench. 
The mechanism doesn't look too bad, too messed up, but there was something sort of caked around that mechanism when I first got it. it looked like polish or something. And the spring is broke, so it won't actuate when it gets in the right position. And I just haven't really messed with it because it really didn't benefit me to fix the, or even really look into fixing the mechanism for a lighter that I knew I wasn't going to be able to get it to hold fuel because that's what I do with these butane lighters first and foremost when I get them is see if they'll hold fuel and if they do then I'm definitely going to try to use them but unfortunately neither of these two as beautiful as they are and as I said they have plenty of appeal I know somebody will purchase them I don't know exactly where I will start this auction uh, maybe in the fifty to sixty dollar range and we'll just see from there but this will be another one that will be sold as is, not working, incomplete, blemished, all of those kind of notes because this is not a dependable working lighter. Neither of these will be dependable working lighters uh, when I sell them. Now somebody who's good with these butane valves Maybe, I don't know, Authorized Repair Services, ARS, in South Carolina, I believe, repairs plenty of butane lighters. You may be able to get a hold of them. They may tell you, yeah, send that to us and we'll charge you to replace those valves and get it up and running for you. Or maybe, like I said, maybe that's what you do. There's a guy in the uh, Facebook groups used to be a couple of years ago a guy named Jamie Wise that was always working on butane lighters there's another one I can't remember what his name was I wish one of those guys would show back up I'd like to pass it on and then maybe somebody could uh, maybe we could trade off or uh, I don't know some kind of collaboration if somebody wanted to do some butane videos I would be down for that so if there's any butane whizzes out there that want to get a hold of me real quick before I sell these lighters off on eBay here in the next couple of days, then by all means, get a hold of me. I've made plenty of trades with David Ward over in the uh, Dependable Flame Facebook group. Another couple of individuals that I hadn't really talked about divulging their names, so I won't do that just yet. But there's plenty of people over there. I've talked a lot about my friend Stuart Linton, who likes to take lighters apart. He likes to completely disassemble every one of them. And I asked him, but he didn't really have any interest in butane lighters either. So that's just where I'm at with them. These are very attractive lighters, especially this red leather short model that sparks just fine. It just won't hold gas. If you don't care, I know some people don't even really care if they work. If that's you, then this might be your lighter to a T. Until next time.